What's going on everybody? Sudan John here, about to finish off the year 2012 with the Bull Blog Update. So we got invited to Chennai by a team we met in Hyderabad. Turns out, they're part of the largest church in India. Chennai NLAG, 40,000 members, 13 services. So we started off the trip by meeting with the leaders of the church. I mean, it was an instant connection. We observed the needs of the leadership. We embraced them, walked beside them, and even encouraged them to move forward in their goals and visions of the church because it aligned exactly to ours. Creativity bringing unity. The Christmas service was exactly that, creative. I mean, it was a blessing just to attend the service. You can see the wholehearted message, uh, the choirs singing carols, and when everyone just started to light up their candles and it was just surrounded by just, just lit up candles and it was just, oh my gosh, it was Christmas. You just felt the spirit of Christmas in that place and it was so beautiful. Oh, and by the way, we got to do some of our Christmas hits. It was pretty awesome. We got to jump around a little bit, joy to the world. I got the joy, joy, joy. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. The next day, we got to do five English services. I mean, the Sacred Revolution team came together so well and delivered the message that we had to. Just seeing the joy of the people. I mean, people were lining up after each service just to talk to us, to thank us, and just to tell us that their prayers have been confirmed. I mean, there is nothing else that we want. And it was just such a blessing just to be there for them and walk beside NLAG Chennai. So after Chennai, the team decided to split up. Some of us went to Kuchi, MJ and Burley went up to Hyderabad for a youth camp. Shaiju, Alex, Michael, Charlie, AKA Bishop Biceps, went off to Chennai for a track and field meet. The team got back together right before New Year's. It was cool to hear all that was accomplished in different regions of India by the team. In Hyderabad, Burley used his experiences from both the band and production to encourage and build a media team by giving them practical ways to work even more efficiently. MJ made a huge difference at the camp. We're talking about everything from just leading workshops, leading worship, and even just uh, meeting people one-on-one. -on -one. In Chennai, Alex, the sprinting coach from My One Shot, developed a national champion in Joseph Joke. He won first place in the 100 meter and the 200 meter. It's amazing to see how much my one shot has grown and developed these past couple of months. Okay, there's no time to waste. Phase zero is complete, but the next question is, what's gonna come in phase one? Find out on the next Bull Blog. I didn't tell you what happened after the fourth service. We just finished the fourth service, and all of us are starving. I mean, we are so hungry. And when it comes to food, we don't play games. So we jumped in a car, got to a restaurant that was on the second floor. We all decided to jump in this tiny little elevator. No one took the stairs. So we're talking about nine, nine fully grown men in a small, tiny little elevator. The smartest thing that we ever did. Anyway, we were in the elevator, riding up, and um, all of a sudden, the guys found out that I was ticklish. I don't know who told them, but they started to tickle me. So they're tickling me and I'm like, stop, 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 tickles, you know, giggity, giggity, whatever. And I was like, you guys gotta stop it. And all of a sudden, boom. Um, <laughs> we're stuck sure. in an yeah. elevator. And I was like, that's what happens when you tickle me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We just got done doing four services. One of us is claustrophobic. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> One guy is ticklish. Yeah. <laughs> we have to get some food. Uh, and that's not gonna stop Burley or James. So they ripped open the elevator door. We got to the table, had an amazing time, lived happily ever after. <laughs>